What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So Terra Luna Classic continues to fall. It continues to drop, and not only did it add a zero, it's also dropping numbers after that. <clears throat> um, and when we look at this, we're getting questions um, surrounding like whether Terra Luna Classic is completely dead, whether what you own in Terra Luna Classic may not be what um, it's worth now in the next couple of months to where all of the excitement is going elsewhere. Um, and I know there's a lot of people that are also asking the same question. Uh, is the repeg over? Will the repeg ever happen? And I want to give you my honest truth of how I feel like this is going to go. However, anything could happen. We could see uh, Binance completely take over. Um, you know, the process of, you know, revival of, of Terra Luna Classic and recovery of Terra Luna Classic, and it could be a massive jump and something could absolutely skyrocket just based off of that news. We've seen it before. Um, but with the information that we have right now, I'll give you some hypotheticals. I'll give you what could happen as well as um, what I believe is going to happen. And we'll just break this all down uh, to the best of my ability. Um, Am I by any means giving up on Terra Luna Classic? No. I've gained a lot from them. Realized gains from $43 to over $4,000, $4,800 something dollars. Of course, you know. Um, and then I also have a certain amount and that's in realized gains. And then I also have a certain amount in unrealized gains that I'm sitting on that I truly believe in could be worth so much more depending on the things that do happen. I still believe is going to have a massive uptick it's just whether it's going to stay whether it's going to repeg and whether it's going to grow in value right that's the overall question um so with that being said guys if you could make sure that that like button hit the subscribe button hit that notification bell for more of these videos also if you guys want to trade you know you can't trade Terra Luna classic on margex but you can trade you know pepe shiba inu bonk dogecoin all of that at a 25x leverage you can also trade jasmine coin at a 50x leverage um solana at a 50x leverage and btc and ethereum at 100x leverages so feel free to check out my link for margex down below they are a partner with the channel and i do get a little bit of a kickback which does help me out um more than you know but when we look at terra luna classic it currently stands at 40783 um, we see this add a zero as well as drop some more, right? Uh, definitely dropping significantly down to a $428 million market cap. Still sounds like a lot just compared to where it was. It's not really that much, right? You see it at a, um, you know, what, $2 billion market cap, um, you know, seeing it push up to way higher levels. Of course, it, it feels great to see it at those levels and see hundreds of millions as well as maybe even billions of dollars that's flowing through this one project but right now you're seeing a 22 uh, percent rise in volume but the volume still only stands at 18 million compared to you know the billion uh 1.4 billion or 1.6 billion that it was at in december um so we look at this situation right the the process of um, USDT, Terra Luna Classic, will the classic chain ever repeg? And that's really the question, right? Because we had these processes, we had these, these plans. Um, while I was focused on burns and burns probably should have been the main focus before we started focusing on utility, utility became the bigger conversation and being able to create something that people would utilize on chain to, uh, effectively, um, you know, burn off Terra Luna Classic and burn off uh, USTC and getting to a point where it could repeg. Um, but that just wasn't the case. It wasn't the best situation because, you know, USTC, Terra Luna Classic didn't see enough volume in on chain in order to see that happen. Most of the volume that happened was off chain and not on chain. Um, so we needed that to translate to off-chain activity as well as on-chain activity in order to see that, not just develop a bunch of things that people may not have use for. But, you know, I kind of digress on that. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I was right because I was. And people know that uh, burns were the right way to go, but we decided to go the wrong way. Um, 
So with that being said, will we ever get to a point of repegging? Understand we need to know what the process is to repeg. Um, when you repeg uh, USTC to a dollar, you need to essentially have that value hold at these levels, have it be valuable up to those levels. So um, if uh, USTC, which I can um, go ahead and duplicate this, if USTC needed to get to a value of a dollar, um, it would need to be at a um, a five or five point five billion dollar market cap. Right? It would need to be up at that level in order to see that happen, or total eight point nine billion dollar market cap. If it can get up to those levels, then of course you can see um, the repeg happen because that's a repeg. Now it's all about sustainability at those points because not only are you needing to see the repeg, you need to see the algorithm back in place. If we just got USTC to a level of a dollar and repegged to a dollar, um, does that mean that it is now stable and there's no possibility of coming back? Well, no, it's not backed by anything. And the way that this all worked was USTC was backed by Terra Luna Classic, where um, you see Luna is at a certain price, you know, 10, 20, $30. And if all fails and it gets depegged, right? It gets uh, down to 98 cents, 97 cents, whatever. You now have Terra Luna Classic to fall back on, uh, where you can now utilize that in order to get this back up to the peg that it deserves to be at, right? A dollar that it deserves, deserves to be at. Well, right now, if you decided to get this up to a level of a dollar and you and uh, Terra Luna Classic still at 0. 0.00007, it would take a massive amount in order to get even a dollar over here before it was like you have USTC at a dollar you have Terra Luna Classic at 20 30 40 50 dollars meaning that if you needed to add more USTC you can add you can literally take one Terra Luna Classic mint one Terra Luna Classic and that's worth 40 dollars immediately but right now you take one USTC and you need to build up to that level you now need to look at you know thousands of Terra Luna Classic in order to get this up to that level. That's something that you do not want to see, right? That's not something that's sustainable. So um, when I look at this and I say the repeg is definitely possible, it all depends on what we do with decrease in these supplies. USTC uh, is definitely at a lower supply than what I've seen since I've looked at it um, uh, for circulating supply. But, you know, Terra Luna Classic is still up in the trillions. You need to see both of those supplies decrease in order to see the process of getting to a complete repeg. If that is not the case, then the repeg may not be possible. Um, an incremental repeg was, um, you know, thought of, and I thought that that wouldn't be the case because you wouldn't just have people that are holding for the long term of whatever a USTC can get to, they would hold until they get to a certain value that they can accept, and then they would sell, bringing it back down to where it all started, which is not a great situation. So when I look at this, this situation, it's a complete mess. And the reason why it's a mess is because we don't necessarily have the support for which way we're going to go. And it's always been that way. We never had a true vision to where we wanted to go. Even when we had the 1.2% implemented, um, we thought we had everybody on board, it was 99%, but then immediately people were like, no, we have to vote against this, this is the reason why. And then they voted against it, and now look where we are. If we were all for the 1.2% and then we started focusing on exchanges to also implement that, it would have been a completely different story. Terra Luna Classic would have been completely recovered because it's not about, right now it's all about hey, we want to gain so much and then we want to sell on everybody. That's where we stand, where people want to hold a massive amount. You get to a point to where your massive amount now has a massive impact and then you decide to sell on everybody, which brings the value of that overall position down. Why would anybody or any exchange want to bet on that when it's about taking from them? If you owned a convenience store and you were like, 
all right, well, um, we're selling a bunch of different items and robbers came in and they were like, we're going to take everything that you own or you know what? They're going to say, Hey, you know what? We'll, we'll, um, we'll buy these couple of things from your store. But then eventually after you build up the value of the store, somebody comes in here and they're going to rob you and take everything that you own. You come to find out that it's those same people that were buying things from your store every day. Like that's what we're essentially doing by saying, oh, well, we don't care about the, the burns. We just want to build up the value of, of this so that we can take it, right? That's not the case. We want to be a bigger part of this and we want to see this chain survive. That's what it's all about. So hopefully that analogy actually works. But the point is that what's the reality of the, the repeg? Right now, the, the reality of the repeg, in my opinion, and what I see that's out there, it's kind of non-existent. However, anything could happen. We all know this with Doquan, with CZ, with Binance, with, with uh, any other exchange with people that have a larger impact. We can see that something could happen. But at the current stage where we stand, it looks like it's more towards just Terra Luna Classic seeing an overall gain rather than seeing fluctuation, rather than seeing the complete survival of the chain. Does that make sense? Um, let me know what you think, because these are the things that I'm seeing. Again, I don't look at it as often. I should be looking at it more often, but uh, Terra Luna Classic kind of has lost a lot of its popularity on on YouTube, at least. And I uh, would love to bring that back, and I'm sure it will come back once you see more um, more gains and more movement. But guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.